Today I'm going to be showing you how to gray out a person in an image in Canva. So this is a pro feature. So if you don't have pro, I'm sorry, you're not going to be able to do this. It might be another workaround. I don't know at this point how to do that. But if you have pro, the first thing you're going to want to do is either upload your image. I just grabbed one from Canva. So now what we want to do is a duplicate that image and lay it on top of the other. I'm going to go into my edit button and I'm going to come over and go to magic grab. Now I want to take this guy right here. So what I'm going to do is grab him. I'm going to grab and then I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to let magic grab do its magic. And as we wait for that, now that is complete. Now the reason why you want to make duplicate pictures when you grab, let's look at what got grabbed look what happened to her face it just didn't grab him out of there it did some weird stuff with the hand over here did some weird stuff so that's why you want to keep an original solid copy behind so i'm going to delete this one i want to take this original copy here and i'm going to duplicate it and i'm going to line it back over why because i want to grab his arm so i'm going to go back into edit i'm going to go back into magic grab and now I'm going to use the click feature. You can also use the brush, but I just use the click. And you can go click on this, clicking on his arm. And now I highlight that. I want the back part of his arm too. So I want his whole arm. And I'm going to grab that. Now, sometimes I do that in pieces because it, it winds up doing better because it'll wind up morphing a lot of stuff if you don't. So I'd rather do it in pieces if it's something like an arm wrapped around. But as you can see, when I pull it off, it's done this weird stuff. AI does the weird stuff. So that's why I always do, if I'm going to grab multiple sections, it's just for me, I feel like that's an easier option to do than try to grab the whole thing. So now that I've got the pieces that I want to gray out, what I'm going to do is go into edit. I'm going to click on the piece that magic grabbed. I'm going into filters and then I'm going to scroll down to where I see mono. And then you can pick classic ink noir. I like noir. Let's do that. Um, slate newspaper, and then you can change intensity of how black and white, but we're going to just go with noir for this. And then when you come over here, you're going to grab this one and do the same color thing. And that's how easy that is to do. And if you want to move it around and do anything, just grab it all, group it. And now you've got one solid picture with that grayed out piece. So if you want to, we can go through and do another one. Let's do this one here. This is the other example I used. So I'm going to take this guy right here. So I got it where I want it. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to line it exactly over top. I'm going to go into edit. I'm going to go into magic grab. Now it's grabbing him. I want to make sure I'm going to reduce this down to see if it's grabbing what all it's grabbing. So it's grabbing that in his hand. It's really not grabbing his watch, but I'm going to just like leave that because I'm going to grab him. Let magic grab do what it wants to do. And do his little grabby 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 and then we're gonna put that back up and then i am going to duplicate there is one little teeny piece i'm going to get this out the way see once magic grab grab that see it morphed the kid's hand over here and did some weird stuff going on right here and i don't want that in there that's why i keep an original picture and just have this overlaid so I can go ahead with this one. I can go and edit. I can go into my filters and put like the, let's do the noir on that. There's one little teeny piece, but since his color is almost the color of black and white, we can, I can go grab that if I want to. So I can just layer that over here, go back into magic grab. I'm going to click on this little piece that's behind his hand right here and let it grab that. And then I can go over and edit and then put that in the uh, new war. And that's how easy that is. And now, oh, I forgot to do him. Oh, 
we got to take this picture out. And then there you go. And now he's in black and white. Now, for some reason, his hand did not get black and white. Oh, maybe because it just went it just went black in the black and white. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. So we got it. Um, and if you want to go back in there and do another one and grab his watch, you can do that too if you want to do that. Um, that's just going to be a personal preference. Um, just something easy. You're just going to, same thing, grab a copy, go on your magic grab, clip, click on that, get that watch out of there, and then turn it black and white. And that's just how easy that is to do. And then you just want to group it all together. That way you can move it around and it all stays the way you want it to stay. And that's how you do that. And easy peasy lemon squeezy. My name is Michelle. Thank you for stopping by. Bye, y'all.